Hi guys, it's Simon and this is my first look at the Taro version 4 firmware for the uh, ZYX-S Right, it's very cold, blustery day and uh, looking over at the greenhouse, yes that is snow on the greenhouse roof so uh, it's not too pleasant to out here Okay Hmm, that pillow's a bit better. Let's just uh, have another look at that. So this is the, one of the things that they said they've improved. Yes, that is definitely nicer. I'm comparing to version 3.02 because I couldn't get on with version 3.5. It, uh, it spoilt the big air flying for me. So let's just have a look, they also claim to have improved the hover stability. Now today isn't a good test because of the blustery wind running left to right. But yeah, I can see straight away that it's actually a little bit more aggressive in how it stabilises itself and uh, counteracts any um, external force that can influence the uh, hover. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. The tail is superb. Um, there's no, not a hint of a bounce back. You know, I've let it go of the stick there, literally, and it's very sharp, precise. That's quite neat. That, that pyro is much improved. And at the end of the pyros I just literally let go of the sticks. Have a look at the uh, holding in pitch pumps. Okay, that's full negative to positive several times over now. It's not a great test today because the cold has got to the batteries. The head speed sounds to me a good, perhaps 100, 200 RPM lower than on a day where it's a bit warmer. But that, that held well. It, uh, it sent tighter than uh, 3.02. Yeah, it could do with a little more head speed, but that's just the... Uh, that's just the cold, I'm afraid. I tend to find that these uh, flyby units on a 450 likes a head speed around about 3000 for best results. So we'll land at that. Well, that's a promising first look, but what will make or break it for me is how well it flies in uh, aerobatic style flying, you know, the sort of big air flying that I uh, mindlessly carve up the sky with. So, um, yeah, that, that, that'll be the uh, make or break as to whether I stick with this firmware um, because of the dreaded pitch-up bug. Um, let's hope version 4 is no worse than version 3.02. Okay then guys, well, uh, promising start that. Thanks for watching and bye for now.